it was crazy. We just went through what I think my personal experience is one of the This is one of those things that Marissa and I have been striving for. All right, we're back for day two here at the uh, Ponderosa. Sam and Joel are uh, putting their minds together, let's just say that. Trying to plan this out and get it all going uh, because there is a little bit of engineering and, and some ingenuity going on here. Um, and that's because we are installing uh, something exciting today. Uh, yesterday I had to get a footing poured for it, uh, but today it's gonna be basically kind of the wow factor of this uh, whole idea and uh, being in this barn it's gonna be uh, just a cool just a cool thing they're putting it all together right now um, welding it up inside the barn so let's go take a look and um, show you guys kind of what what they're doing you're good Joe So because the sea purlin was running through here, we had to, uh, Sam and Joel got it cut out and we had to pour a footing because the sliding glass doors will set flush on the concrete. So we went ahead and got the footing set and Brad and Chuck did that. And uh, that way, whenever we build the frame, we'll make this out of sea purlin. It'll connect up here to this eight inch sea purlin. And what we did is we left a six foot um, gap. Well, really, this would be eight foot, wouldn't it? I mean, this is six, we're gonna, we're, well, what we're doing is we're leaving a six foot wide yeah. for the for the fireplace. fireplace. We're leaving a six foot, you can kind of see the mark there and there for six foot wide fireplace right here with the TV. But we left a foot for, Oh, just, just to have some spacing. Yeah. Well, if we needed it over there, over here, we just mirrored both sides, just so that the sliding doors aren't all the way up against the fireplace. Yes. Kind of left a little bit of a gap. This section, the door is going to be in the third that's on the left. They're in thirds. And then yeah. on the right side, the door is going to be on the right third. Well, no, over here is going to be in the middle. Over there. Here in the middle. Yeah. The sliding door will be in the middle, and then over there, here, it's going to be on the right. Okay. Boom. Sounds good. And then we don't know how we're going to finish this, uh, but we're definitely going to put a fireplace here, probably a gas um, fireplace, TV, and all that. So we're going to use the sea pearl in here to frame it out. Then the sliding glass doors will go in there. Come some screenings. I wanted to uh, show you what's been happening and what's been going on actually in the barn since I've been doing some bison shenanigans stuff. But uh, Sam and Joel, like I said, have been working very hard and um, I'm very happy to get them up there. Now, Sam and Joel live in uh, the Dallas area, so uh, he always tries to fit me in a schedule to get some of this work done when we have basically a lot of work to do. Those guys, I can say, oh, we got about a week's worth of work to do and then they come up and get after it. So right here, I'm gonna show you what has been happening here. Uh, so basically there are two sheets of metal right here that I had stacked up. And um, 
this was kind of the break right here of this barn that where they had got to and then i ran out of sheet metal and the company i got them from was out no big deal whatever it's interior so got the rest of the pieces hung got them put up here finished that this morning got two doors installed uh right here this is going to be a, a guest bathroom uh, the guests our guests will have access to it in this area here um and then the area over next to it, the other door, is that is going to be a water heater closet and maybe a little storage area. So uh, this door is installed. It's just not shut. So this is kind of what it'll look like. Something like this, basically. As you can see, I still have a, I've got a round bill in here, a skid steer. Um, and then the Polaris Ranger is in here. So we got the tool room right here. I'd shown them kind of the process of me putting up those boards um, in here. But now this wall is completely finished and um, excited about that. So people, if you're out here, oh, where I'm standing, we got concrete poured. Two last week, take a look. Whenever I wasn't around, Sam and Joel did a great job of recording some stuff. I was busy, busy with the cabins for spring break, had some uh, family friends in town and uh, I was running around like normal. And then, so Sam and Joel, as they were working and they were also recording for me and I appreciate that. Okay, so we're gonna go actually inside here and I'll show you the exciting part. So it's kind of dark in here. I don't have all the lights electric hooked up. This is the plumbing area, northwest corner. Gonna have a bathroom, which I just showed you through the door. Still got uh, walls to build in here. So that's another big step. Uh, laundry, uh, washer dryer area here, a uh, private bathroom here, and this will be an open space kitchen, kind of stubbed up here uh, for an island. Um, we're gonna put some windows on this wall here so you can see out west of the barn. But right now, this is basically just a shell is all it is. And this is pretty much what it looks like. That's already been spray foamed. That's where the office is. So we've been able to hang out in there and take care of, leave chicks in there because it's uh, it's got heat and air in there and that's uh, where we store our merch. Uh, but basically, what have I been hiding from you and what has been the most exciting portion of this construction going on in the barn is this piece right here like i said marissa and i've been talking about this for a long time we contemplated on what really to do here but we we really wanted it to be a wow factor we really wanted to get what the point of this view is and it's a beautiful view most of you know i post a lot of sunsets because we see a lot of beautiful sunsets here and we really wanted to absorb that and uh, make it easy for people to see um, and you could do it from right here inside this building. The cool part about this is this right here.
guys check those out right there. Check these bad boys out. Oh, these are awesome. We got some Anderson windows. We've got a sliding door right here. How about that? Super windy outside. But there's your view right there. Got some stuff out here. But there's the view. Bison are way over there. That's the big Joe herd. But the coolest part is that right there. You're going to get lots of sunsets. Um, but Sam and Joel uh, really did a good job of framing all of this out. And then we installed it. There took like four of us. Me, Brad, Sam and Joel. And then uh, what's, what we're going to do here is a uh, fireplace. We're going to have a wall all the way up. I think it's just a little bit too deep. We're going to try to repurpose it. it get a, maybe a, a not as deep one to put right there. So we'll have a fireplace go up here. Just We're going to put a gas stove. We're going to put a gas fireplace here. And then we'll have a TV So and a man, mantle probably, more than likely. And then we did this too. Got another one here. This one slides right here. So you still got the view. And then we have the door here if we need to get out that way. So this is a, a rough look of what everything looks like right now. And i um, very excited to uh, finish it all. But this was, this was kind of the big piece of the puzzle. And we're not taking all the stickers and stuff off yet. And we'll really be able to see the view from in here. So, so the other day, we... Uh, we had some chance of very kind of some serious weather and we were out here, you know, doing our thing, working and uh, trying to uh, get some of the trim installed or get the sheet metal back on these uh, sliding glass doors around because you had to take the sheet metal off to install both of these doors, both of these sets of glass doors. And uh, when we did that, uh, Right after that, the storm was coming in, and we sat here and watched it. I got a great time lapse of it. You guys, take a look. So then after the, when the storm was coming through, um, it was, it was crazy. We had 50 to 60 mile hour gust of wind and the hail was intense, very intense. It cracked my windshield. It busted a window cover. I don't know what you call it on my truck. Um, put dents in my hood. It was a wild, wild storm and it came through like that and it's one of the biggest hailstorms that I've ever been a part of. And uh, let's just say it was so loud in this barn. And you can hear it, just me talking in the echo. But it was so loud in this barn. Me and Sam and Joel could not hear each other talk. We were running around looking for Maya. And uh, Jackie was following us along. And uh, we ran in the office because it's insulated. And the sound barrier is much better. And... Um, 
It was just so intense. A bunch of pieces left around um so the next thing all of this will be getting spray foamed all the way up here this wall this wall and the back wall will all be getting spray foamed very soon that's the next step and then basically the walls go up and that's kind of uh it and then we start all the interior work but we definitely have to get it spray foamed first before anything happens so I'm excited to show you guys. So pumped about this and getting it done and uh, hope to have it done pretty soon so we can hang out here as a family and friends and uh, maybe some other things may be happening around the Ponderosa that may affect you guys that are watching it. So. Oh! We're just out here bison ranching, living the dream, out here raising the American bison. Just gave the Big Joe herd some cubes. These guys have done a really good job. You can see down here in these pecan areas here where they pretty much just mowed the lawn and made it look kind of, kind of like a nice landscape over here. But um, I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos of seeing Sam and Joel get after it and all the updates on the barn. We're still working and grinding on it. Still got a lot of work to do, but it's been fun working with uh, Sam and Joel and they do a great job. And I'm so happy that I've kept up that relationship with Sam and uh, Joel now along the way. I hope you guys are also excited for something else. Bison handling is coming up April 15th. That is our working day here at the Ponderosa and at the original place with mom and Kevin and Dunbar. Some things are changing uh, with the whole CTB plan um cross timbers by some plan that is so and with that we're gonna start something new we are dropping some new merch maybe some new hats it's been a while but maybe some new hats and uh some new merch for you guys on working days so stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching us we'll see you guys soon